I found 19 side hustle ideas that actually work that you can do in 2024. These are side hustles I've either tried myself, my friends have tried, or my team has done extensive research on. And with every single one of these, I'm actually gonna give you an example of someone who was able to have success with them. And my team and I do over 100 hours of research on each one of these videos to make sure to give you the best possible information. So if you appreciate that, go ahead and gently tap that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is buying and selling domains. So every website out there has a domain name. For instance, you're watching this on youtube.com and there are certain domain names out there that are worth a lot more than others. For instance, business.com sold for $345 million and there are certain words that end up trending. For instance, the word acquisition has been trending in the last few years. So if you can get on top of these trends and purchase domains that are related to the trending words, a lot of the time you can make a ton of profit from them. And in many cases, you can purchase domains on websites like Bluehost or GoDaddy.com for 10 to $15. And if you're smart about it, you can end up selling them for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. And it's kind of like being a virtual real estate tycoon. Now, another really good website I like doing research on domains with is namechecker.com. So yeah, this one is really good. I personally know a guy who's been doing this since like 2010. And every single year, he makes hundreds of thousands of dollars flipping these domains. And it's actually relatively passive because you kind of just hold the domain until you have a really good offer and then you end up selling it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be selling beats online. Now I know what you're thinking. Shane, I'm not good with music. I don't know how to make beats. How in the world can I make money from this? Well, it's actually a lot easier than you think, and you don't need to be Kanye West or Jay-Z to make a really nice beat. Because a lot of the beats that sell really well are very simple, and they're designed to be background music in either video games or videos. But if you're really talented, you can also produce beats, and rappers or pop stars might actually buy them from you. And there's a really good article on CNBC.com about music producers that are making over 100000 dollars a year doing this. Now, another way of making money doing this is not by selling them, but actually just posting them on YouTube. So there's many people, for instance, that will make what's known as binaural beats. And these are basically meditation tracks that are at different frequencies that help you study. Or in some cases, people will use them in order to meditate. And some of these get millions and millions of views, which means if you enable ads, you are going to be making tens of thousands of dollars per video. So yeah, there's a lot of opportunities when it comes to making beats or sounds or rain tracks or meditation tracks or binaural beats tracks and it's actually not as hard as you think it is and once you make them you can post them on soundcloud beat stars or even youtube so overall i wouldn't do this one unless i'm kind of passionate about music and it is a little bit harder to make money with this one than a lot of the other ones on the list so i'm going to give this a six out of ten opportunity score the next one though is a lot easier to make money with and that is selling tiktok accounts so the way this works is you basically get really good at growing tiktok accounts to a certain level and then you sell them online. So TikTok accounts that have 1000 subscribers or followers will typically sell for around $5, but it can sell for much more than this if you make them in certain niches. And a lot of the time creators will actually just buy one of these accounts rather than getting started themselves. And that way they start off automatically with a few thousand followers. And there's websites like fameswap.com where you can buy and sell accounts. So yeah, this is another pretty good one. I will give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about one that you can do in your local area, which is going to be computer repair or technical support. So this is going to be for the people who are technically savvy, but basically you can make a ton of money doing this and you would just advertise your services for either repairing or doing technical support for people on something like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. So a lot of the time, if your desktop or your laptop is running slow or it stopped working, you basically have a choice. Buy a new one for several thousand dollars or try to get your existing one repaired. Now, if you do this as a job, you'll make around $19 an hour. But if you start your own business, you can make much, much more than this. For instance, computer tune-ups are usually about $80. Computer dirt and dust cleaning is around $40. Electronic and solder repair is going to be around $50. And game cartridge cleaning and repair is around $30. Plus, repairing the computer itself might only take you a few hours, and you can charge hundreds of dollars for it. Another thing you can do is technical support setup. So for instance, I hired somebody to kind of set up the technical side of my podcast. 
and you can actually charge hundreds or even thousands of dollars for that. So yeah, there's lots of opportunity here. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a digital marketing consultant. Now, if you wanna become a digital marketing consultant, you do have to be an expert on the type of digital marketing that you're talking about. And that's why I highly recommend specializing in a particular niche. So there's many different types of digital marketing out there. You've got SEO, which is search engine optimization. This is basically where you create articles that are search engine friendly so that they show up at the top of YouTube. Another type of digital marketing is what's known as pay-per-click. This is typically done on google.com and those are the ads that show up at the top. Another type of digital marketing is paid social media marketing. And this is basically the ads that show up on different social media websites like Facebook or YouTube. And another type of digital marketing is going to be email marketing. And I think everyone knows what that is. So yeah, you wanna specialize in one of those areas. And then I also recommend specializing even further. So for instance, you could be an e-commerce SEO specialist, or you could be a software email marketing specialist. And I have a friend who specializes in SEO marketing for e-commerce businesses, and he makes over a million dollars a year doing this. If you were just a jack of all trades, digital marketing consultant, you would probably have a lot of trouble even making $50,000 a year. But if you specialize and you specialize in the right niches, you can make a ridiculously high amount of money. Now, you might be asking how exactly should you learn digital marketing? Tell me how! Well, I actually have a really good friend, Seth, who has taught many people that have watched this channel exactly how to learn digital marketing and land their first job, or in some cases, land their first freelancing gig. And he has a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And you can check it out because it'll answer all of your questions about digital marketing. I also have another friend who actually lives in India who makes over $30,000 a month, and he specializes in creating what's known as landing pages. And these landing pages typically sell some sort of information product, right? So if someone from India can make $30,000 a month doing this, you can definitely do it as well. So this one is an incredible opportunity. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is being a personal chef or catering. So this is actually a huge opportunity right now. And basically what I would recommend that you do is you make meals for people and then deliver them to their house. And typically these are going to be people who have a decent amount of money and they basically want to save time and also eat healthy, but but at the same time eat stuff that tastes pretty good. And in many cases, they might have certain diets that they follow or dietary restrictions. And so for instance, you might specialize in making keto friendly food. So if you're someone who really loves cooking or you're just really good at cooking, this could be a great option for you. Now, the same thing applies as what I said before. It's best if you niche down with this. So for instance, being someone who specializes in cooking keto friendly foods would be great. And there's an example of a chef that actually quit his job and started being a private chef and he makes more money now working part-time than he did working full-time at a restaurant. So yeah, this is another really good one. You can make a ton of money doing this. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is fitness coaching for old people. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be doing fitness coaching, but you're going to be doing it specifically for old people. Now, why do it for old people? Well, because old people tend to have a lot more money than young people do. And I have a friend who makes over $500,000 a month teaching dads how to get into shape. He's actually a French guy and his YouTube channel is called Papa in Shape. Now, there's many different ways you could do this. The easiest way to get started is doing one-on-one -on -one sessions. And typically, you're gonna charge at least $70 to $180 per hour. So yeah, this one is great. You can make a ton of money with it. Of course, it does help if you live in certain areas that have older people. You can also do this online as well. That's another way to make money with it. Another thing you could do is you could create an online course, you could do online training, or you could create an entire program that is delivered online. Online. So yeah, this one has a ton of opportunity. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be gardening services. And this is basically where you offer landscaping, lawn care, and gardening maintenance services. And if you don't think you can make money with this, here's a Reddit post of someone who's making $110,000 a month in revenue. And that's about 30 to $40,000 a month in profit. And they were able to grow that business within three years. Now, if you do this as a job, you would make between 20 to $30 per hour starting off and experienced gardeners make around 60 to $88 per hour. But of course, you can make much more than this if you do it as a side hustle, you start your own business. So yeah, this is another pretty good one. Obviously, you'd probably want to be someone who actually enjoys doing it or you know a lot about it, but I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is being a local tour guide. And this is basically where you would be a tour guide for tourists that come to your city. And of course, this is going to be better if you live in a city that a lot of tourists come to. And you can basically take them to really good restaurants, 
take them to certain landmarks in the city and explain the history of the city to them as well. And typically you're gonna make somewhere around 200 to $250 per four hour tour. And then you're gonna make tips on top of that. So it usually ends up being somewhere between 50 and $80 an hour. But like I said, it really does depend on where you live. So yeah, this one is pretty good, but it's extremely dependent on where you live. So I will give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is starting a personal shopping business. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You basically go and do the shopping for someone else. So if you're someone who likes shopping anyways, this could be a really good opportunity for you. And there's a great article about a Michigan man who earned $100,000 as a shipped shopper. Now there's many different ways that you could do this. For instance, you could be a holiday shopper where you actually go out and buy gifts for people. You can also start shopping using a website like airtasker.com. And you can use apps like Instacart in order to shop for food for people as well. So yeah, lots of different options for this. Some of them are gonna be much higher paying than others, but some of them like Instacart, for instance, are probably gonna give you a really steady, stable type of revenue. So there's pros and cons to all of them, but overall, I'm gonna give this one a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a social media creator. Now, this is one that is gonna take some time, most likely, before you start making money. Although there are some niches where you can start making money right away, but basically you're gonna be creating content on social media. Now, what I recommend doing is creating what's known as a personal brand, where you create content as yourself, rather than starting some kind of company name or starting some kind of faceless channel. It's much easier to make money if you just do it as yourself, because people don't really want to buy from like faceless companies or corporate entities, they want to buy from other people. So you can do something as simple as starting to create content and then using what's known as affiliate marketing to get a percentage of the sale if you put a link in your description or the pinned comment below and someone actually ends up buying it. And so you can just start reviewing some of your favorite products, for instance, putting a link in the description in the pinned comment. And then when someone buys it, you get a small amount. So yeah, there's a ton of money when it comes to content creation. Of course, my favorite type of platform to do this on is going to be YouTube. And I personally make over six figures a month doing YouTube. And I actually coach people on how to do YouTube as well. And I have clients who actually make more than me, right? And I started coaching people because I kept on getting requests to teach them how to do YouTube. And by the way, if you check the description in the pinned comment below, I'll try to remember to drop that link in there as well. So you can apply for my coaching if you'd like to. I don't accept that many people. I'm very picky about who I choose into my coaching program. I only accept people who are extremely serious about having success on YouTube. But yeah, you can check it out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you'd like to. But yeah, this one is incredible. I honestly think it's probably the best side hustle you can possibly do. The only downside to it is you're probably not going to be making money right away. It's probably going to take you at least a few months in order to really get the ball rolling. But overall, I'm going to have to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a freelance web developer. Now, web development is basically where you create what people see when they look at a website. So you're basically going to be coding the website. Now, you might be thinking, Shane, coding is way too hard. I can't learn that. But actually, web development is probably the easiest type of coding to learn. And the secret here to making a lot of money is specializing in certain languages and frameworks. Now, I happen to know that there's a few different types of web development that are a lot easier to make money with than others. One of them is Shopify web development. Another one is learning the coding framework known as React. And then another one is learning anything that has to do with the cloud. So some of the common stuff that you'd want to research is Azure or AWS which is Amazon Web Services. And yeah, if you learn any of those three types of things, it's super easy to make money online doing this. And there's an article I saw about someone who was able to learn web development and they started a web development side hustle that generates $7,000 a month in passive income. And if you get a job as a web developer, they tend to make around $69,000 to $115,000 a year. So yeah, this one is really good. There is a little bit of a learning curve for sure. You're not gonna be able to make money with it like two weeks from now probably. It is gonna take you some time to learn it. But overall, I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next side hustle is going to be becoming a resume writer. And this one is especially good if you're already working in a career. So let's say that you're already working in an SEO career, right? So you're like an SEO content writer, you should specialize in resume writing for that exact career. Now, why is that? Because you know what is gonna look good on a resume for that career. So you can really help people land a job if you do that. And there's a story on cnbc.com of a 35 year old teacher that brought in $2 million in revenue from his resume writing side hustle. So again, the secret here is to make sure that you choose a particular niche. If you're just a general resume writer, not only is it gonna be really hard for you to make money, but on top of that, it's gonna be really hard for you to create really good resumes. 
resumes because all the different jobs have certain characteristics. And the only way you're going to be able to recognize what a good resume looks like is if you write those types of resumes all the time and preferably if you're in that career. So this is a really good one. There is a ton of opportunity here. I actually had a friend who was in management consultant and he started off as a resume writer for management consultants and he eventually ended up having a seven figure a year business. So I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about language tutoring. Now, this is probably one of the most common side hustles or online jobs that people do out there. And you probably have already heard about this one, but I thought I would go ahead and mention it anyways. So there's tons of kids all across the world who want to learn English. And actually, there's a lot who want to learn all kinds of different languages, but English is the most common one. And there are many different websites out there. There's many different services out there where you can get hired to teach these kids English. And this is especially good if you are multilingual. So one example of a website like this is Cambly.com. And there are people that specialize in teaching other people languages that are making millions of dollars a year. For instance, the channel English with Lucy makes $400,000 a month, which means she makes around $4.8 million a year. So yeah, this is still a really good side hustle. Is it a little bit saturated now just because so many people know about it? Yes, but that doesn't mean you still can't get into it. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a garbage collector or garbage cleaner. And this is someone who is basically paid to come and clean things up and collect garbage. And in many cases, you'd either take that garbage to a dumpster or maybe you would recycle it. So a lot of the time, garbage cans can kind of smell really bad. And the people who normally come to collect them don't actually clean them. So you can actually make money and you can make monthly recurring revenue by basically just making deals with households to come and clean their garbage, maybe something like once a week. So that's another way you can make money doing this. And even if you just get a job as a garbage collector, you're going to make around $39,000 to $57,000 a year. Another way you can make money doing this is by basically having a large vehicle or a truck. And not only would you collect the garbage, but you'd probably collect large amounts of garbage and then you would haul it off. And any type of moving company makes a ton of money, especially if you add in the fact that it's garbage that you're moving. So yeah, this one has a lot of opportunity. I will give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score, although it's probably not the most glamorous side hustle on the list. Another really good side hustle where you can make a ton of money, but you have to have a lot of patience is going to be a blogger. So this is basically where you write and you create what's known as a blog. And on this blog, you would create SEO optimized articles. And you can make money from the blog itself when Google shows ads on it, but you can also make money from affiliate marketing whenever you put products or services on your blog. And you can even sell your own products eventually as well. And this is one of those side hustles that takes a lot of patience because you're probably not going to make any money for like an entire year. And it'll probably take you a year and a half to two years to get to the point where you're making as much as you would in a job. But with that being said, this is one of those where it's extremely predictable. If you do the work and you create really good content, it's almost inevitable that you're eventually going to start making money. And it becomes relatively passive as well. Once you've written those articles, they're just going to keep getting views over and over again throughout the years. So this is a really good side hustle. The only downside to it is you do have to have a lot of patience because you're not going to see any of that money for a long period of time. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is an interior design consultancy. And this is basically for people who are really good at making feng shui, like really nice interior designs, right? You're basically really good at making a house into a home, right? So if you're someone who has really good aesthetic taste when it comes to selecting couches, and putting paintings up on the wall and that kind of thing, this could be a great opportunity for you. And there's a really cool YouTube video I saw about someone who started an interior design side hustle and they ended up being able to pay off $98,000 in debt in 25 months. And if you do this as a career, you're gonna make somewhere around 55 to $85,000 a year. So yeah, this can be a really good opportunity for you. Of course, you'd probably start advertising on something like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And this is typically something that you would do in your local area, it would be kind of hard to do interior design over the internet. But yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is one that a lot of people know about, but it's honestly still a pretty good one. And that is selling stock photos. So basically you take a bunch of stock photos or stock videos, you put them on different websites. And if somebody really likes it, they might end up buying it. Now you might think that you have to take like super amazing photos, but in many cases, people are actually looking for a more amateur look when it comes to their photos and videos. Or in some cases, they might just be looking for something really weird. And stock photographers in general make about forty-nine 
year. And I think everybody's heard of this side hustle. There's tons of people making six figures a year doing this. You can work on websites like Shutterstock or iStock. And a lot of the time you'll earn anywhere between 20 to 60% of the royalties when people buy it. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a travel agent. And this is one where you would specialize in a particular area. So basically travel agents are professionals that help people that are vacationing book and organize their vacation. So for instance, they would make sure that people's visa and visa process is taken care of. They would make sure that the flights are taken care of and they'd make sure that accommodations are good as well. But they also help with things like transportation and giving good recommendations for restaurants or places that you should visit, right? So a good travel agent will have the practical side of things down, but they'll also know really good things that you can do while you're there so that your travel ends up being extremely fun. And of course, like I said before, the only way that you can get really good is by specializing in a particular area. And preferably it would be an area that you live or you're very familiar with. And a lot of travel agents out there actually don't specialize. And that's why this is a big opportunity for you if you do. And there's a story about a travel agent that made over $250,000 during the travel industry's pandemic lull. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. I will give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I posted a video that went semi-viral about seven side hustles that nobody is talking about. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.